Here we go again. After last year's worst wildfire season on record, fire crews are bracing for another fight, but this time they have a new weapon. This water is mixed with a product called EcoGel, a made in Ontario innovation that essentially fights fires with salad. 100% plant-based, so it's made with common food ingredients, which you've probably eaten most of our ingredients over the course of a week. This veteran volunteer firefighter who founded the company says most of their ingredients are grown on Canadian farms. Yeah, you can dip your finger in. That vegetable oil is then mixed with gums, starches, and water, creating a honey-like texture. Can you eat it? Yes, you could eat it. No, it wouldn't taste any good at all. Um, but it is you know, totally environmentally benign. EcoGel essentially makes water sticky, smothering the fire and preventing it from spreading any further. And crucially, it does that without using chemicals. Many fire retardants and foams traditionally used against wildfires contain a toxic cocktail. The biggest issue is their persistence, right? They, they hang around in the environment. This environmental toxicologist tested the toxicity of several fire suppressing products and found EcoGel was the least toxic. We're you know, likely going to see more use of these different firefighting water additives. Wouldn't we want to go with the one that poses the least risk uh, to human health and, and to the environment? EcoGel flows with water, then becomes sticky and thick, creating a protective coating that can last for days. I believe it is a game changer. It's a this contractor just sprayed more than 100,000 liters of EcoGel solution on rail lines and bridges around Fort Nelson, BC. It's also been used to protect homes. We can use lots of it without harming the, the environment and we can create better fire breaks. I believe we can protect these assets. Fire departments from more than 20 municipalities are now using EcoGel, and it's also being considered for use by the military, First Nations, and federal government. A first of its kind Canadian-made gel that could change the way we fight fires. Jeff Semple, Global News, Borden, Ontario.